OneNote class notebooks are a great tool if you use them throughout the school year, but you will find if you're a heavy user and you insert a lot of um, PDFs and Word documents and very big files that your notebooks can get quite large. And if you use this year to year, it will eat up your OneDrive space. So at the end of the year, one of the ways to free up some space in OneDrive is to delete some of the content from your OneNote notebooks. And that doesn't mean you have to delete the content library, but if you want to delete your old students, as well as their content that can free up an enormous amount of space. So the way that you're going to do that is after logging into Office 365 you click on your class notebook app and then you go over to add or remove students. And once your notebooks load you're going to choose the notebook where you want to remove students. So if you have a lot of students in here you will see them all listed and by clicking remove you will remove the students from the notebook, but you won't actually delete their content. So you're going to have to click on the check mark next to this to also remove their notebook contents. Now, if you want to hold on to a couple of students so that you just have some sample work, you can do that. Um, but all of the content that's been distributed to your students throughout the entire school year can really make your notebook very large. And this is just a quick and easy way um, to make your notebooks, old notebooks smaller. And this way you can kind of hold on to the content library if you wish. So so then you can also click on each one and remove them and you can go down through the list and then you'll click next update and then you will see later on when you go back into OneDrive if you want to take a look at how much storage um, some of these notebooks are taking you will see that it will significantly go down and that's really all there is so if you have multiple notebooks that you run throughout the school year at the end of the year um, again a great way to reduce the amount of storage that's being used in OneDrive and then you shouldn't have a problem later on in the following school year when you start creating new notebooks